Uh, today we're here on the blue floor to, to accept our, uh, our new engine. Uh, it's one of four uh, Impels that we are now uh, going to and uh, it's a puck configuration. Um, we've gone to that configuration because we wanted to increase our storage space uh, in the actual rescue body of the truck for our equipment. Um, we've removed the generator and went to a complete LED package on the truck including LED lights, changed our bumper configuration over, um, didn't really change much on it but uh, with our district, uh, we, we're about 260 square miles. We've got 10 stations, and uh, we've got about 50 guys on shift every day. Uh, we cover an urban area and a very rural area. So the truck is specifically made. It's one of four that we have, and we're looking to go to two or three more in the next year. Um, the truck committee did a really good job on this truck. <clears throat> we went to the electric actuated louver doors, uh, louver action steps for easy access in and out. Uh, the, the two impels that we have before do not have them. We went to these because we, we normally run uh, the, uh, the quantum cabs. So we were used to the step coming down. So now that we've gone to the, the louver actuated, electric actuated louver step, it's, uh, it's a lot easier for access in and out of the vehicle. The cab configuration, we've done some changes in the back. Uh, we are an all ALS department. So uh, we run normally three-man engines and three-man ladders. However, our, our, uh, our staffing's increasing to four and four. So it's typically not too much that we've changed in the actual Impel cab. Uh, it's got backup camera systems. Like I said before, the entire truck is LED uh, throughout lighting, um, as well as our scene lighting on top of the truck. In the back, we did a few changes here. Uh, we have three seats, one forward facing, which allows a lot of access uh, for the firefighter to kind of put his eyeballs on the scene as we're rolling up. And then we have the tool mounted plate in the front between the two rear facing seats. And that's where we mount all of our batteries, lights, ticks, uh, and tools, as well as it gives easy access to the uh, fluid uh, check with that door panel. Um, what the guys did here was they, they did a really good job. Um, in Florida, we get a lot of heavy rains. We get a lot of interstate calls. So we get two points of access for all of our ALS medical gear. We have a swing door. And you got full access to three shelves for all the ALS equipment. Um, it's mimicked the same on either side, or if you're inside, if you want to access all your ALS gear from the inside, you can do that as well. Uh, the reason we went to the door access was is, is coming out of the Quantums and coming out of the Impels, it was a lot easier for us to get on the street, grab all the gear, and then go to where you need to go. Um, it's got a lot of great room in the back, which is good uh, for our firefighters. and. Uh, like I said, we've, we've gone to the, the puck configuration to add to our compartment space for the rest of the truck body. Uh, talk a little bit about the puck. Um, like I said, it's our fourth puck. With this particular puck, it, uh, it pumps 1,500 gallons a minute. We have a 750 gallon tank, and we opted to go with a 50, 50 gallon gravity fed uh, Class B foam tank. All of the engines are the same. Um, all the compartments are laid out the same, so our firefighters, our officers, our engineers, every truck is pretty much identical as far as equipment. So you kind of get into that memory as far as going for gear. All right, so here we have our pump panel for the pump. This truck is set up with a 1,500 gallon uh, GPM pump, uh, 50 gallon foam system on it, gravity fed. Uh, we like this type of pump panel down in Florida. Keeps the sun off all the gauges. Uh, what we're going to add after the fact is on all the impels with the, uh, the puck configuration, we put a camera up here. So the engineer pumping at fire scenes has a 360 degree of the engine. Um, he doesn't have to leave the pump panel. Uh, you can see what's going on uh, on the other side of the truck. Uh, this compartment right here is where we keep our, all of our fixtures and appliances, nozzles, uh, foam system hookups. Um, easy access behind a rolled door, um, and that's the way we like it. So the, the, the cab body is actually was designed specifically for our job. Um, what we do in the field down in Florida, so it it's, works real well. This compartment here is just for our halligans, axes, tools, whatever we uh, decide we're going to put in it. All of our trucks, uh, the engines, the compartments, even on our ladder trucks, they all mimic themselves as far as where tools are and location for everybody that's uh, on the fire ground and, and the firefighters, so they get very, very good at knowing where tools are in muscle memory. Back in this compartment is where we, uh, we use hydraulics. Uh, we've got a pull-out tray. All the trucks are identical. We've got a battery backup uh, system, a, a, a pack system here that we mount, and all of our hydraulics get mounted um, in this specific door on the back of the, the truck. So 
Uh, coming around to the back of the truck, we'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the hose bed. We've got uh, pipe poles up here, attic ladder. We've got two compartments that kind of are the same, identical. So we've got pipe poles here, attic ladder here, and we've got our 24 and our roof ladder. Notice they're nice and low. Firefighting can come in, throw it on his shoulder and go. We also have a roll-up compartment. On the old engines, we used to run hearse tool with a power unit. Now we have extra storage for, for stuff that we need in the field, whether it be speedy dry. Um, so it's, it's just a, a really great setup as far as um, having, you can't ever have too much room. <clears throat> Hose bed's pretty much the same. It's uh, typical. We run 1,500 feet of five inch, and then we do uh, three inch supply line and then uh, two and a half inch hose on the right side for, uh, for larger diameters. This back compartment here, it's got another slide out tray on the bottom is where we keep all of our high rise packs for our uh, high rise applications and a bunch of other uh, equipment that we can store in there. This roll up obviously will uh, house more, more equipment. Um, they add a couple doors in here and we got more uh, forcible entry tools and uh, things to pertaining to a high rise. We went to this uh, one sided system now where we can put six bottles on each side instead of having two on one side, two on the other. So that's something a little new. Looks real good. One of the, in the last compartment, notice a nice big wide roll up door. Uh, in this compartment, this is where we keep all of our power saws, cutter's edge, K 12s, uh, PPV fans. Uh, we put our five inch, uh, 25 foot pre connect for the puck on this side if the engineer is going to catch a hydrant on the uh, passenger side of the vehicle. We also have a Vogel lube system uh, which is great for the mechanic Tom. Um, he can just basically access that panel and it, it basically lubes the entire chassis and uh, that's something that these guys specifically put into it. With When we build these trucks, um, Tom, our, our head mechanic, our EVT, he is, he's got his hands in on every single truck that we build. The easier that they are to maintain, the more life we get out of them. So. Uh, it's real important that we have him in on the system in the build. So, just moving around here, I'll talk on the other side. I didn't about our pre-connects. Um, we uh, we have two pre-connects. We usually in our department, every truck set up the same. We have uh, we use a triple layer load, 200 foot, inch and three quarter jump lines. One's a smooth bore, one's a fog, and then up here, which we've added, which is it's a great asset. We do uh, 150 foot of two and a half. So we can have an exposure line right off the bat. Um, accessible from both sides, it's empty now, but we have pipe poles, our New York hooks come out of each side. So if the officer jumps off, he can grab a hook. Firefighter can jump off the other side, grab a hook. And that's pretty much it, a wrap on this, um, on this truck. Like I said, it's one of, one of four. This will be the fourth one, and hopefully we're gonna get you know, two or three more this year. Uh, maybe two more engines and an aerial. So. We're looking forward to working with these guys. They do a great job putting the, putting the engines together for us. And uh, that about wraps it up.